Hey guys, welcome back to the bench. We are back here with our uh, 300 Win Mag, and I wanted to do a quick video on something. So I've been having trouble uh, with the um, with the cheek rest here, and uh, if you'll remember, we got this um, neoprene, and it had a, a foam uh, riser inside of it. You can see here, and uh, the neoprene goes over, and then you rest your cheek here. And um, this is this is you know, work good as far as getting me in line with the scope, and I've not had any issues with with the alignment on the scope once I figured out which one needed to go in here, because if you remember, it came with three different heights of foam uh, foam pieces. Um, but what I have had an issue with, and, and it's been just annoying the heck out of me, is this thing doesn't actually stay on very good. See there, it, it as you shoot it, it kind of goes left, and it it, you just keep pushing it out one direction here and then I got to reach up and I got to move it back and that's definitely not good for the group so um, what I thought I'd do is we had a little budget left uh, I think four dollars and 78 cents something like that um, so what I thought I'd do is just do a, a really quick video on a solution to kind of help this kind of stay stay on top um, and this, this, guys, you don't necessarily need to have the neoprene and all this to do this. You can actually do this with just a, um, like sleeping pad foam under here. Or um, if you wanted to use like a, that pipe insulation foam, that could work too. Uh, since we already have the neoprene and everything. And I really do like the neoprene. It, it, it feels good on my cheek. And it's got just a little bit of cushion to it. Um, so I do like that and it, and it works away moisture. So for me, I do like the neoprene. So I'm kind of glad we have this solution, but you wouldn't have to necessarily do this. You could use a different a piece of foam and then, and then what I'm getting ready to show you. So what I did is I went to the, um, uh, local, uh, tractor store, uh, in my area, it would be called bomb guards and other areas of the country might have a tractor supply, but any tractor or farm supply house will have this. This is, um, just some vet tape, they call it. And uh, it's used to wrap up, you know, uh, ankles and stuff on horses and cattle and whatnot. It's very sticky to itself, uh, but it, it won't actually stick to the, to the base product. Um, so uh, what I want to do is I want to actually install this. And guys, I've already done this. I, I installed this on the gun and I've shot the last 20 rounds or so with this on. And um, I had zero problems. So I wanted to just show you this. Um, actually saw this online on i think it was lucky gunner and uh maybe they had a um a military guy on there uh and this is something that they do in the field to kind of get their cheek rests going they'll use their foam sleeping pad cut it up add some uh, height to it to get their eye in line and then they'll use this vet tape to to wrap it up and do it so basically what we want to do here first i want to check that the uh, bolt can get in and out um, and make sure that the location of the of the uh, rest is in where I want it where I want it to be and I've been shooting this gun so I know exactly where it needs to be at uh, so it'll be right there and then we'll just kind of roll this forward on the gun and kind of get this out of the way okay just like that and that's where the cheek rest needs to be I want to make sure it's in line and straight up and down and then all we're gonna do is we're just gonna wrap this um, around the gun and we're or around the buttstock and see there, it sticks to itself pretty good. So what I'm going to do here is just kind of get this started. And you want to pull this real tight as you bring it around. There it goes. And it sticks to itself really, really good. So, um, And I found this to be exceptional at holding this on here. So we're just going to wrap this around and one of these should should do the whole thing i don't think you'll need more than that and all i'm doing is pulling it tight and wrapping it around i want to make sure it's really tight on there it's a little hard doing this <laughs> for you guys while you're well, I tried to do this on the video here. I'm going to go in front of it. All right, guys, that should be good. We'll just cut it right here. 
and I'm going to pull this in tight and just let it stick to itself. All right, and that's it. It's on. You can see it there. And uh, then what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to cut this little bottom piece right here to allow the uh, um, bipod, or not the bipod, but the sling stud to be exposed so we can add our sling back to the gun. All right, that should be good. And the last piece we want to do, and, and I'll show you real quick. So that's on there. This does not move. It's solid now. It doesn't move at all. It's 100% stuck in there. It will not move. Um, so we'll roll this back over it. This stuff is really sticky. Um, and when I say sticky, I like I wouldn't want my cheek actually on it. And what they showed on on the web when I looked this up was maybe to use some moleskin if you don't have this neoprene cover. But since we've got this neoprene cover, this has worked out really well for me. Okay. So you can see that's on there and the neoprene straight on there. This absolutely will not move now. It's, it's rock solid on there. And if you look here, we've got our little bipod stud here just sticking out. So the last thing that I did, which was because of this neoprene, you can see here it's kind of loose here in the front and just kind of flops around. Well, what I found is if I just put some of this here in the front, let me uh, get underneath it. And it's kind of grippy, so actually I like this on the grip quite a bit. There we go. So that's just going to keep the front of that, that down. And uh, what I did before is I actually brought this around the grip just a little bit. And I'll show that to you here in just a second. Because it really added a nice little bit of texture to the to the grip, something that I liked. And this thing kind of forms around it real nice. So I'll show that to you here in just a second. All right, there we go. And you can see that kind of molds and forms to the uh, base product there. And this adds some, some grippiness, some texture there, which I really like that. I thought that felt pretty good. Um, so anyway, just a super quick, super quick video on a DIY fix for this uh, um, cheek riser. I put about 20 to 30 rounds down it uh, already, having done this once. And I really liked it. It was in our budget. So I paid uh, $2 and uh, uh, 49 cents for that roll. Um, so we still have a little bit of money left over. Um, so anyway, that fixes our cheek rest problem. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, share, and subscribe below. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave those down and I'll be glad to get to those. Uh, happy shooting.